Welcome back. We are here with 15th of Mass Godly Blessing. Supreme Father wants us to be on a pilgrimage. Now, whenever we are on a pilgrimage, we don't get into any kind of sins. No drinking, no impure thoughts, no impure activities. And that's where we protect ourselves from doing any kind of sin. So God over here also says that this is a time, the end of the days, when you are supposed to be on a pilgrimage. And this pilgrimage is a place which is not around in this physical world, but it's one of the three worlds, which is the topmost world. A red golden world like this, in which the Supreme Creator, the point of divine light is residing. And looking upon you and me and all of us. So God here says, may you remain free from all sins by staying aware of this pilgrimage place. It is also known as the sixth element, which is red light. Or it's not exactly reddish, but red golden light of residence of the souls that we are and of God Himself. Also known as Brahma Loka, Brahma Mahatattva, Akhanda Jyotirmay Tattva, and given so many names in different religions, even given as Alamaya Arvaha or Nirvan Dham in Buddhism. So God says, free from all sins by staying aware of this pilgrimage place and become a charitable soul. So when we're not doing sins, obviously we're doing something, right? We're doing some kind of action, some activity, and that could be charitable. God says, Madhuban is the greatest pilgrimage place in the world. On the path of devotion, they believe that by going to a pilgrimage place, all their sins finish. However, you children have the practical experience of this at this time. By coming to this great pilgrimage place, you become charitable souls. That means God is talking about the physical Madhuban over here. Supreme abode is there and then there is a physical Madhuban, which is in Mount Abu. This awareness works like a lucky charm. So to completely remove our sins, we go and meet Supreme God Father in the Supreme Court and to become a charitable soul. That means to learn the art of doing charity, we go to Mount Abu or Madhuban. So this awareness works like a lucky charm, no matter what the situation is. When you remember the atmosphere of this place, that means whenever you're sitting in any place in the world and you remember how it was to be in Mount Abu Madhuban, automatically you get a feeling of how that place is and how everything works so smoothly. There's no one getting angry, greedy, jealous over there and still the work is going on. You begin to swing in a swing of happiness and peace. So. To come to this land is also great fortune for you. That means if you are going to Mount Abu Madhuban, then it is a great, great, great fortune for us. Because God is calling us to become more charitable in the world. You can also go to this wonderful place and become a charitable soul. Om Shanti with this.